Okay, so in this video, um, I will be. I want to check what it, what was the black color that was dissolved in sodium hydroxide when making sodium, since I don't really know. And I have a power supply set up, so I'm going to do it right now. And I'm waiting for some new wire for electrodes. It will be much better. But it comes from Germany, so that will take some time. Now I'm going to do this in aluminium foil, and that is because I could do it in anything really, because I, I'm not going to melt whole sodium hydroxide, I'm just going to melt it locally, because it's much more convenient that way. Okay, so let's get started by adding in some sodium hydroxide. Yes, this will be, um, well, we will see, we'll probably have to add more. Okay, so there's some current flowing, and I don't think I will do any more heating until it starts dropping, and it starts drop, it started to drop. So, yeah, more heating. At this point, there will be some hydrogen produced and oxygen, so... You must never let this completely freeze, because the hydrogen and the oxygen, when it explodes, Inside some molten material, this can uh, eject a lot of it at you, basically. So don't don't do that. Okay, got 14 amps, and well, this experiment is pretty shit because a bunch of the bunch of aluminium has uh, already been wetted, so uh, this sucks. And the current is steadily but slowly dropping down. I don't think this will be any better, really. Let me try to move the electrodes a little bit closer. Have a look how the molten material is distributed. The positive electrode is almost completely frozen in. And on this side there's a lot of molten material. It's quite strange. But a really strange thing is also that at this point where the sodium is near the hydroxide is nearly frozen, there are there aren't these effects on the sodium bubbles as you could see where the temperature was much higher and also I don't see any fumes emitted from this thing anymore so that's really interesting but the hydroxide is clearly dark and it seems that like here you can see that it's still white and it was never molten probably so if I unpack this foil you would probably see that it wasn't really damaged even, and the black is from the electrodes. Unvolten, yeah, at the bottom it's unvolten, and you can see that it is, it is white where, where the aluminum is. So it's really from electrodes, like 99.9%, even though, yeah, must be. Okay, so here you can see blob. It's just relaxing here, converting itself to carbonate. So I will hit this 
clean it up a little bit and dissolve. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty untouched down there. So let's do that. Anyway, here's the hydroxide. I will have to clean it a little bit more still because there's some junk. But it will be fine for analysis. I was really unsure about what this, what this black thing is because as you can see it bubbles. So I would say, of course, that's aluminium, right? It bubbles. It must have somehow dissolved and then when it gets water it will react. But is it really? Well, I can already see some solids. Okay, this is quite black actually, so I think I am I am done with this. And let's see what we get. Last time I checked the black stuff started to float instead of settle down. That's probably because the density of this liquid is like somewhere about 5. So I will add some water to dilute it a little bit. Let it settle. Decant the water and check what it is. Okay, today time is money so I will filter this. Okay, it seems that the liquid coming out is clear. I will let it settle a little bit and I will increase the flow rate. Okay, this is now airtight. So let's add a little bit of hydrochloric acid and see what happens. It seems that the substance has dissolved completely and it is yellow. Okay, let's pull it down. The fil filter is still quite dark though, so there probably is still something. We'll add a little bit more of acid. Yeah, I would say that 99.999% has dissolved. The rest is whatever. Thank mm -hmm. you.